today's video. Today I'm going to share with you my January favourites. Today I've actually got 10 favourites, which for me is quite a lot. I kind of really enjoyed being able to blog about other things and try other things. And I, I guess the products I did buy and that I got sent were not Christmassy and they weren't Christmas gift sets and I also got to enjoy Christmas gift sets that I had but kind of hadn't had a chance to dig into so actually I'm super duper happy with this month's favourites there are some old favourites and some new discoveries as well so I'll start with skincare and I'll start with the one product I would choose if I had to choose a favourites out of everything I have tried in January. And that favourite would be the Omovitska, Vitska. I'm really not good at pronouncing this brand, I must admit. But it's their Thermal Cleansing Balm, and I am in love with it. It looks like this, so it's a black balm, comes with a little spatula, you need a little tiny bit to remove all your makeup, super luxurious. It is quite pricey, but I think it's actually worth the price. I do like it that much, and removes everything. And I've had actually quite decent skin since I've used this. Um, I strayed a little bit in the middle of the month and my skin went crazy, awful, awful, awful and I came back to this and it kind of sorted itself out and I'm really happy with this. During the period of having really bad skin, my skin just got really dehydrated. Therefore, I decided to go for the Clarins Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil. If you've got dehydrated skin, this is the one to go for. I was actually using this in the day as well because my skin was so dehydrated that I could get away with it. But this is just the perfect face oil for nighttime, during winter and during those seasons where your skin is just really parched. I love this product. And now that my skin's kind of almost back to normal, I've got a pretty normal skin. Um, I'm, I still use this, just because I really like the glow it gives. And I think during winter, you always need a little bit of extra hydration. I'm not sure if I've spoken about this before or not, but it's a Charles Worthington um, Salon at Home Volume and Balance Texturizing Spray. I love this. In comparison to Bumble and Bubble Dry Spun Finish, or the Orbe one, this is just super affordable and actually lasts a really long time because I've been using this all month and I've probably still got about half a bottle left and I use a lot of hair product. But as soon as this runs out, I'll be popping into Super Drugs or Boots and picking up another bottle. I really love this. And I actually just saw from the corner of my eye the Philip Kingsley Maximizer and I'd be lying if I said this wasn't also a favourite. I have loved this. If you've got fine hair and you want um, something that you can put in your hair to kind of give it a bit more volume, this is the product to go for. Mousse for me is a little bit heavy and even some volume sprays I think can get a bit heavy. But this one, the mist is just super duper fine. Oh, I hope I didn't get that on my, I hope I didn't get that on my lens but it's super fine mist and I just really love this. I have gone through this probably a little bit quicker than I would have liked. I've probably used about half a bottle in a month, but bear in mind I do wash my hair pretty much about five times a week, so quite a lot. And um, I use a lot of this as well, but it's a really, really great product if you have a spare few pounds and you're looking for something that will add volume. My favorite foundation is unsurprisingly the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I just love this foundation. I've, I almost feel that I've reached a point where I should probably stop talking about this. You guys probably get it. I love this foundation. Excellent if you're looking for a foundation, whether you're looking for drugstore or high-end, I would still recommend this over most high-end foundations. I just adore it. It's what I've got on now and I just can't get enough. Concealer, this month's favourite and what I suspect might end up being a year-long favourite is the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. I think this concealer works beautifully under the eyes. It's not heavy or anything like that. You can't see it too much. Blends up beautifully just with your finger or with a brush completely up to you. It's what I've got on now and I just really like like it. I also use it almost to highlight the rest of my skin a little bit and I just I just can't get enough. I just really, really like it. In terms of face powder, my favourite has been the Bourjois Healthy Balance. Um, I don't really have much to say. It's finely milled and just a really nice pressed powder that I can keep in my bag if I need to for touch-ups. It's got a great mirror, but it really just keeps me kind of matte, but not too matte, which is what I like because 
I don't really like overly matte skin. Like I've mentioned, my skin's dehydrated, and I think anything that makes it look too matte makes it look more dehydrated, and this is just the perfect matte, but still quite a healthy glow to your skin. So I would really recommend this powder as well. I do like a bit of a highlight. I've actually got this one on now. I've spoken about this as well before, and it's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's the pressed version, and it's in Moonstone. It's just beautifully finely milled, um, it looks beautiful in the inner corner, under the eye, under the brow bone, or on the cheek. And I just think it adds a beautiful glow, but you don't look greasy or anything like that. So I've just been reaching for this non-stop all month long. I don't tend to be too loyal to blushes, but the one blusher I have not stopped using is this beauty from Laura Mercier. And it's in the colour Rose Petal. It's just the perfect slight hint of colour. I mentioned it in a previous video that I'm really looking to not add too much of blush to my face but always have a little tiny bit of blusher and this is a perfect blush for that. You can build it up if you want to but it's really not necessary. It just adds the perfect amount of glow, just a hint of colour and I'm sure this will probably end up being one of my favourites of the year. Another product I haven't stopped using all month long is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner in East End Snob. I know everyone raves about this. Apparently it's similar to Charlotte Tilbury's um, Pillow Talk. I haven't tried that. I'm so tempted to buy it just because I love this liner so much that I suspect I will also love Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. But I'm happy with this one so I'm not too sure yet. Today is probably the first time that I've worn makeup and not worn this in about two weeks, which says a lot because once again I'm definitely not loyal to lip products and I don't always wear lip products. I just can't get enough of this. I put a variety of colours over it. I particularly like this recently with Pure Zen on top. They're not necessarily that similar but I kind of think that helps your lips look a little bit plumper, which is what I've got been going for. and. Um, I think I'm going to pick up a few more of these because I want to have one in my handbag and one in my collection and kind of a backup as well. And because they're £4, I think that's part of the reason why I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just buy a few. I'm not too precious about it. And I just can't get enough of this liner. I don't necessarily have a huge liner collection, especially in kind of more nude, everyday colours. So please recommend some of your favourites below in the comments. I know there are some MAC ones that everyone's loving and I think I'm going to pick some of those up. But I haven't had a chance yet and I've just been literally in love with this liner so I haven't really felt the need to. But that's the end of my favourites. I feel like I went through this a little bit quickly. I'll put all my links below to any reviews I have of these products and I'm sure I'll be sharing them in kind of makeup looks throughout the month of February. But I hope your January was amazing. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you sometime in February. See you soon. Bye.